you can take vitamin D. Now, if you're like taking like boatloads of it for like years, then yeah, you could create an imbalance. And also if you at the same time don't eat any vitamin K from food. But the truth is you're getting vitamin K from food. You are, right? If you eat leafy grains, you're getting vitamin K. So you're not like without any K. If you have zero K in your diet and you're taking lots of vitamin D, yeah, you create an imbalance there. But if you're getting some vitamin K from food and you're taking some vitamin D, you don't need to take another K. It's all good. It's not like a one-to-one. -one. You have to take one with the other or you're doing something bad to your body. It doesn't work like that. How do I know? Because I've been using vitamin D for 20 years, high doses too, without the K. I will actually only use the K when someone specifically has a need for it. Like, okay, you know, they're not clotting properly. They bruise easily or they have osteoporosis and we want to do that, right? Or something like that. But like if they just need a vitamin D, then I just give them vitamin D and it works like a charm.